Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle, Shuffle, and Roll. And today, I'm going to be teaching you the classic game of whist, according to Bicycle. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Whist is a four-player trick-taking card game played in partnerships. For the video, I'm going to be using Bicycle's new Navigator deck. Now, the court cards from this deck are actually based on the Trophy Whist number 39 deck produced by Bicycle Playing Cards back in 1895. And just the fact that Whist is in the branding of that deck from the late 19th century just shows you how popular the game was. For many at that time period, it was considered the game to play. With all that said, let's dive in and learn how to play. In order to play Whist, all you need is a standard 52 card deck and a way to keep score. Cards rank two low, up through ace high in each suit. Whist is a partnership game. Partners sit across from each other at the table. Determine a dealer. That player shuffles the deck and deals out all of the cards. Each player will get 13 cards. The final card that is dealt to the dealer is turned face up. This card determines trump for the round. So for this example, hearts are trump. Players should keep their hands a secret, but for this video we're going to play with cards exposed. The turn up card stays on the table until it is the dealer's turn to play a card to the first trick. The player left of the dealer leads the first trick. They may play any card from their hand. Player one has led the first trick with the ace of spades. That is the highest ranking card in the spade suit. Following players must follow suit if they can. If they cannot, they may play any other card. The highest card in the suit that was led, or if played, the highest trump card takes the trick. The ace of spades wins the trick. The trick winner leads the next trick with any card from their hand. Again, players must follow suit if they can. If not, they can play any card. Again, the highest card in the suit that was led, or if played, the highest ranking trump card wins the trick. So our ace of clubs wins the trick. And here we fast forward a few tricks. Our trick winner led off with the queen of diamonds, play pass left, and we see that this player, player one, does not have any diamonds. So they could play any card, and they chose to trump in on the trick with the eight of hearts. Let's continue the trick. So here we see that all the other players were able to follow suit, the highest card in the suit that was led, or if played, the highest ranking trump card takes the trick. So our eight of hearts wins the trick. The trick winner leads, players must follow suit if they can or else play any card. And play like this continues, until the final trick has been collected. At that point, it's time to tally up the score. Points are determined based on how many tricks a team collects. So here we have the North-South team. They have collected eight tricks. Our West-East team has only collected five. A team scores one point for each trick beyond six. So our North-South team earns two points for the round. After the score has been tallied, collect the cards and deal passes left each round. Continue playing rounds until one team reaches an agreed upon number of points, typically 10. The first team to reach that wins the game. And that's Whist according to Bicycle. This is a very straightforward game. There's a trump suit, the card ranking structure is quite normal, and it's must follow. So there's not a lot of flexibility within the gameplay. However, do not be deceived by that simplicity. This is a very deep game in which players who are able to remember what has been played and use that to determine what is left in their opponent's hands, those players are going to do very well. If you would like to watch me play the game, I just did a live stream playing both Classic and Bidwist, and I'll link to that video down below. Well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.